Hi, my name is Suzanne Sterling. The body is a natural resonating chamber for sound. So when we allow sound to move into the empty spaces, either of a room or a building or the body, what happens is something called sympathetic resonance, i.e. sound waves match up and amplify. So there are three resonating chambers in the body, the empty spaces that hold and amplify sound. The whole voice range from the lowest note that you can sing to the highest note that you can sing lives in the body, each note resonating at a particular place in the body. Each note has its own sweet spot in the body. So in fact, as a singer, you would be able to sing without even hearing yourself based on where those notes live physically in the body. And this is something we can practice. One of the resonating chambers in the body is the chest, the empty spaces of the lungs and the chest. And this is where the low notes resonate or the slower vibrations. We can pull the sound down out of the throat into the chest and literally feel the chest vibrating with the sound like this. Ha. If I hold that sound in my body and allow it to amplify in my chest, it feels like an internal massage. This is something that can prevent high anxiety and panic attacks. If you're someone who's prone to high anxiety and panic attacks, if you drop down into a, squ a squat, touch your hands to the ground and make a nice low tone, you will bring yourself down into your body, ground yourself and release yourself from the anxiety and the panic attack. This is also a part of the voice that many women don't spend a lot of time in, and it's wonderful to play down in the lower ranges in your voice, grounding your voice down into your body. So utilize the empty space of your body to find the deeper, deeper self that lives in the deeper voice inside of you.